Coming up in this half hour, saving money when you head out to the grocery store. That's right. Well, all week we've been learning the secrets to slashing those food bills from the appropriately named Economitas family, also known as the cheapest family in America, self-described. Today they're back and they're answering your questions on stretching your dollar. We're also going to help you save some money with some reasonably priced fashion for fall. Natalie. They should pay you to do that, you know. <laughs> they do. <laughs> sure they do. Coming up next, the cheapest family in America helps you save money by answering your Ooh. questions. Right after this, smooth. Wow. <laughs> This morning on Today's Money, the secrets to saving from coupon clipping to bargain hunting and menu planning. There are some simple ways to trim your grocery bill. Stephen and Ed Economides are the authors of Cut Your Grocery Bill in Half. <laughs> They're back this morning along with two of their children, Abby and Becky, to answer your questions. And we got hundreds of questions from our viewers. Thanks for sticking around for us. Another third day for you all. You so bet. thank you. We came for the rain. You did. <laughs> you did. It's a good way to save money. You stay inside. No you do nothing. Exactly. Now, you actually have... Um, a lot of people have been e emailing us about cutting costs on your grocery bills. Mm -hmm. So you actually have three great tips that you want to share with us. What, what are they? Well, it's mostly about cooking. And cooking yeah. is not as difficult as people think. And you there can save a ton of money if you cook at home. There are three so. simple ways that you can do cooking. One right. is to double your portion. So whenever you cook mm -hmm. something, cook double and serve it the following week. You can freeze it and then reheat it the following week. And it tastes just as good, Absolutely. Right? Okay. The second thing is to use one ingredient in multiple meals. So say you brown ground beef. Right. Use it in sloppy joes, in shepherd's pie, in spaghetti sauce. That, that's another way to do it real quick, to do it all at once. One batch. Divide it up into multiple recipes. Right. You're saving baggies. time. Right, yeah. and the third one is to use a crock pot, which is a phenomenal way. You, you could put a roasted chicken in there. You could put pork chops in there. Mm -hmm. You defrost the meat the night before. Put it in that morning, and you come home to a main dish that's this already cooked. This is perfect for the working mom right. who comes home at four o'clock, five o'clock, and doesn't know what to do. Dinner's ready. Well, not to mention a crock pot or a slow cooker, you can put pretty much any cut of meat and it's right. like, Absolutely. it tastes amazing, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, now we, um, I know Becky and Abby, you all help in the kitchen as mm -hmm. well. How do you contribute around the household? <laughs> we do um, lots of chores, and when like mom and dad go grocery shopping, they need help putting the groceries away, and they can't do it; they're dead tired. Yeah. So all as kids, we have to work together, and we have to put and them all away. There are five of you total. Yeah, the brothers aren't here. here. And and we label all the cereal boxes with the dates, and we just put it all away. This is part part of it is being organized, right? It's, a lot of it is being organized, and then there's also the aspect of cooking. We all help in different aspects around the kitchen. The boys, not so much. Um, they like to eat the food. As long as, as, long as there's knives and eating, the boys are good. Right. But, um, you know, we all, we all pitch in to help make meals. Okay, let's, let's get to some of the calls right now. First, we have uh, Rebecca from Nashville on the line with us. And Rebecca, go ahead, tell us what, what your question is. Uh, hi, uh, my question is, if they only grocery shop once a month, how do they eat fresh produce like salads and fruit or perishable foods like yogurt or cheese? which don't last a month in the fridge. So is it realistic to grocery shop and frequently and still eat whole foods? Annette, how do you answer that? Uh, I'm going to answer that by saying you would be surprised at how long produce lasts. First mm -hmm. of all, it's not really fresh when it's at the grocery store. People think it's fresh, but it's right. already weeks old by the time it's at the grocery store. But things like apples, carrots, celery, oranges. cabbage, oranges, that'll easily last for a month in your refrigerator. Yogurt will last for a month in your refrigerator. Cheese we freeze. Okay. But uh, so what we do is the more perishable things like bananas, strawberries, um, grapes. grapes, those will be eaten first. And so you order how you eat things according to how they're gonna last. We also okay. store lettuce in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel in it. It keeps it crisp longer. You can get lettuce to last keeps for two it from weeks. from browning. All right, we mm. have uh, Kim in Athens, Ohio on the phone with us. Go ahead, Kim, what's your question? Yes, I budget, I plan my menu in advance, I take my list and I stick to it. But I can never seem to stay within my budget, so <clears> I search for coupons to help out. However, finding coupons that I would use has been real difficult. Where are some of the places that I can look for or search for to get coupons? All right, great right. question. I'm going to answer the question answer? <clears throat> about coupons first, and that is start a coupon swap with people in your neighborhood. You pull them out of the Sunday paper. When you take, take what you want, pass it on to somebody else, you get tons of coupons that way. But the other thing about staying on budget is you've got to have a budget. So basically what we do is we encourage people when spending gets out of control or money's tough, tough to manage, mm -hmm. start with cash. 
put a certain amount of money of cash in the envelope, go to the grocery store, you have a finite limit, but that's okay. That's you can it. work the within the limit, you can see it. That's the exactly right. That's it. Yep. You can't that's buy right. anything more. Meanwhile, Steve, Annette, Becky, and Abby, Economides, thank you. Before I go, though, I think there's a little picture of you guys we have to show. <laughs> when you go out to eat, apparently, uh, you get a free meal by dressing as cows. Is that Dress right? Dress like a cow day at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> right. Get you a free meal, guys, so go for it. Thank you so much for being with us all week. And coming up next, the more you know about education in America right after this.